We've filmed the South Somerset ferreters before. Well, they're back, and this time they reckon they've got the ultimate warren. It's a hill not far from the South Devon coast, and it's a honeycomb of berries. The South Somerset Ferreters are a group of families who get together on a Saturday not to go shopping, not to go to a theme park, they go ferreting. Between them they have everything that ferreters need, including two lurchers, a little Lakeland Whippet Cross and their not-so-secret weapon, Louie, a remarkably sprightly ten-year-old Jack Russell. Also on hand to help is the Field Sports Channel Cocker Spaniel Muffin and her year-old daughter, Minor. Yeah, I don't think it really gets any better than where we are today. Anywhere in the country, really. First job is to put the nets out, both long nets and purse nets. We know what we're up against today because we did it you know, last year, so... Yeah, we're going to... Like I say, we've got the whole perimeter again. Blocked off the long nets. And we've still got a lot of purse nets to set. 200 net job. Yeah, roughly, about 200 nets. Yeah, it takes the time, but if you don't put the time in, you don't get the, the rewards, you know. It's not just a case of bunging a net over a hole and banging it in. So you've got different sized nets here? Yes. I've got four footers, five footers and six footers, all for different holes. Does it depend on the size of the hole? Yeah. So. <sighs> then there are the elastic bands. Every purse net we use, we've got an elastic band around. So when we pick them up, if we've got any elastic bands left, we know we're missing the net from somewhere. It takes a couple of hours to put out this many nets. About 600 yards of long net we've got set up around as well. Five dogs, about 15 ferrets, which we put down all in one go. So hopefully, fingers crossed, not a lot will get away. Next up, the stars of the show, the ferrets. We take time off for a bite to eat, then nets, dogs, children, everyone gets in position. There's even time to disentangle Miner from a long net. <laughs> the first rabbits don't take long to bolt. Men, women and children are stationed around the long nets ready to dive on anything that wriggles. After a quarter of an hour of no activity, we reckon we've had the best of this berry. Now we have to retrieve the ferrets. When ferrets lay up and have to be dug out, they uncannily choose the thickest part of the brambles. You need to sweep the brambles with ferret finders. Just goes to show, but without these finders you'd lose ferrets. You went right the way across the other side. So good, yeah, got them all back now. Plus a rabbit for a bonus. Yeah. Years of experience tells them that this last ferret is deep underground. The fastest way to cut through the bramble roots is to send in Louie, still keen as a puppy. Once oh, Louie has done his work, Jaff calls for another piece of kit. It's a ferreting endoscope. At last we find the final ferret. It was nowhere near the brambles, but in the next field, curled up with a rabbit. The next step is the main event. We're ferreting the open hillside. Jaff is relieved to find the berry here is not connected to the holes under the brambles next to it. We get more rabbit action from this side of the hill and we're in a perfect place to watch it. There is even an opportunity to train a young dog to stay away from ferrets. The last ferret of the day has chosen the only clump of gorse to lie up beneath. It's another digging exercise with Louis on hand to offer help. If you want to find out more, search for South Somerset Ferreters on Facebook. And if you want to see our last film with them, click on the link on the screen. Or why not make your Louis very happy and start your own ferreting group?